Today on Eye on the Desert, we're following up on the Palm Springs International Film Festival. Even though there was no festival in person, there were awards handed out for films. One that got a special mention, a special award, was called Mission Joy. And I'm with the two people who directed that film, Peggy Callahan and Luis Hoyos. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for having us. I know it was disappointing that we didn't have audiences in seats this year for the International Film Festival here in Palm Springs, but still... Uh, a jury to ward is an important thing uh, as you continue to advance your, your film. Wow. Well, thank you so much because um, I have to tell you, when we first got to know the notice that it wasn't going to happen, I, I was sad for us, but I was sad for everyone there who worked so hard to make that festival happen. Yeah, everybody here was disappointed. We were all looking forward to, to getting back to seeing movies and having an awards gala. Uh, let's talk about your film, Mission Joy. And... Uh, bringing these two iconic people together for a conversation. And, and Louie and I were discussing this, uh, the idea of focusing not on our own self-interest, but on helping others. It seems like we need a lot more of that today. We got so lucky because the, to get these two men together. And it was the last time they were together. They, they thought that would happen, um, that it would be that way. And Arch was there in between chemo treatments and to see these two men together and to see their gravitational pull i mean they they make things happen they can move mountains they can move crews <laughs> they can they can move hearts and minds and um and to get to witness that and then share that with the world their last time seeing each other in person and the wisdom they had to share was an astonishing gift. And it is resonating with people because in these times when the world is so divided and you see people who are completely different, just totally in love with one another, what a gift that is and an example for all of us. Well, I think it really speaks to where people are right now, obviously trying to find joy in difficult times. Uh, but adversity does bring out the, uh, it has the opportunity at least to bring out the best in people. Yeah. I, I, yeah. That's, that's one of the lessons of the film, I think is just reframing things. Like when you, when you, you know, you look at somebody like the Dalai Lama, who's, you know, been in exile for, I don't know, 60 years, something like that. You know, he reframes it like, Oh my God, I would have been stuck in this, you know, palace, the thousand room palace with the golden handcuffs on. And now he has an opportunity to talk to the world about the, these principles. And one, one thing I was just thinking about is that, you know, they talk about a lot about death in this film, not a lot, but en enough of it. You know, we didn't want it to be too morose, but you know, since then, obviously, uh, Desmond Tutu has died. And there's some points in that I just think that are really going to hit home when people see this film. Because, um, you know, at, at the core of it, I think is, is, you know, they're at, we're at, you know, Peggy and Doug were asking the, the questions that we all ask, the big questions that, you know, we think about and then life goes on, you know, and you sort of forget about them, but like, why are we here? What's the purpose of life? What's going to give us the most amount of joy? And like we were talking about earlier, Patrick, is just that the, you know, at the essence of it is that you only feel joy, like real joy, lasting joy, not happiness where it's like, you know, the the job and the money in the corner office you know the home that makes you feel good for a second then you're left with like is that all there is joy real joy happens when you're helping other people there is a website that people can go to to find screenings it's called missionjoy.org correct mm -hmm. you can you can sign up for screenings there you can sign up for a project we're doing with scientists around the country because the holy man asked us to get the message to as many people as possible well, I want to thank you both and congratulate you both. Thank you for taking the time to be on Eye of the Desert today. Thank you for doing this.